I'm just taking time to make the proper use of my influence. Couple hundred thousand cash, a few haters, lawyer fees for new cases, and a box of blunts later I give you. Hi. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Maguire versus Brooks. It's my understanding, Miss Maguire, that you are suing what the fuck for happened? injuries you received when a nail gun shot a nail through your head. Yes. You're suing Mr. Brooks for those injuries, and you have three hundred thousand dollars in medical expenses. Two hundred. A nail gun shot through your head. How does that happen? How does that happen? This had to be some uh, uh, landlord, for future medical expenses whatever. and one point five million dollars for pain and suffering. You, you want, want this two court million to award dollars? You two million dollars against Mr. Brooks. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, it's your Come on, Miss Anderson. You uh, that had Miss McGuire waited for you, and not been in the wrong place at the wrong time, this would have never happened, hot. and thus this is not your fault. True? Yes, she you are. Hot. Now let's get into the legal sauce. Not, uh, she, now, McGuire, she cool, tell but she, me, uh, how did you come to even she hire mad. Mr. Brooks? Yes, Your Honor. So I am a musician. I okay. play the bass guitar and the ukulele for my indie rock band. I fool with a sax every once in a while. Hey, maybe you could join our band one day. Uh, so I was headed on a three-month tour around the country visiting different bars. We had some sold-out um, areas, sold-out concerts. And yeah, 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 yeah. Fast forward to, to the... a recording studio in my home on the second floor. After the three months uh, had passed, I was really excited to see the work that Mr. Brooks had done on our recording. Did you think it was going to be done in three months? Uh, I was told that it was going to be near done when I got back. And Mr. Brooks, tell me about your company. Lost. How long have you been doing construction? Well, Your Honor, I've been in business for about 25 years. Long time. And basically, yes, yes, Your Honor. Look at the dude in the back. Five of those years. <laughs> Look at bro in the back. Look at y'all in the back with the uh with the sweater with the vest whatever y'all see what I'm saying yo this right there the white you... yeah watch him watch him it, it, we when know who we back. voting and for Mr. Brooks tell me about your company how long you been doing construction watch well him. your honor I've been in business for about 25 years long that's time. all he needed yes, to hear yes your honor and basically for the last five of those years that's all he I needed to hear business a bag of bricks remodeling as a remodeling contractor. Oh, how, how long does something like this normally take? Well, it depends on the extravagance of uh, the project. Uh, she wanted a state-of-the-art studio put in. So okay, she was going to do it right. Yeah, she was going to do it up. She was going to do it up. So. And so how long was it supposed to take in your estimation? Well, in my estimation, we should have Please say more than three months. About three, three and a half months, four months top. Say so five, Take me bro. to the day that uh, this happened. What happened? Yes, don't lie in court. So I arrived home. Um, um, I walked you, up the stairs in know. my house uh, and walked through a plastic Honestly, drape. I, I immediately stubbed my toe. Natural reaction, you know, you, you bend down to make sure that everything's okay. And, and where are you in, in your house? Where I am on you? the second floor of my home. Okay, at the entrance of the studio? At the entrance of the studio, yes, and Your Honor. So then what happened? So then I stood back up, I turned my head, and I immediately bumped into something. I didn't know what it was, but immediately it, it was Look just Look at Shorty in the back in the red. She, she was the right like... side of my head. It felt like a bomb had exploded inside my head. I thought I was having a stroke. I wasn't sure what was going on. Somehow, I was able to pull my phone out of my pocket and dial 911. Um, and the next thing that I... I, I y'all know me. I keep it a hundred. I'm not gonna choose sides, but she sound like she just been a little dramatic. Let's rewind it and check out her defense statement. No, her 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 uh, plaintiff statement. Mom had exploded inside my head. I thought I was having a stroke. I wasn't sure what was going on. Somehow, I was able to pull my Somehow. phone out of my pocket and dial 911. Miraculously. Um, and the next thing that I remember, I woke up in the hospital, and that's when the doctor told me that there was. I'm not a laughing at her. I'm not laughing. Damn. Pierced my skull. So this oh, is the shit. actual nail that pierced my skull. It went in. Uh, right here in my temple. My bad. I keep pausing. This is going to be my last one. I promise y'all. But if anybody, if you're in my age range, bro, I'll be 30 in a couple months. Sheesh, that sounds crazy. But if you're in my, y'all remember, what 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 show was this on? I'm going to give y'all a hint. It came off of Nickelodeon. I dropped the screw in the tuna. If you can tell me what TV show that was on on Nickelodeon, I will send you a hundred dollars, bro. Put 
put it on everything. Sis, this for men and women. This for both of y'all. All right, behind my eye and then it pierced up through my optic nerve and into my brain and in your you honor i am scared out of your wit i was scared to death and, and now i am completely blind in my right eye damn sure, Matt, could you get the nail let me see it she so this nail heart went heart into heart. your eye yes this, your this was sticking you put in your, your head? head that was what the surgeon pulled out of my skull that's your head, Miss McGuire? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Brooks, what do you call this kind of nail? Well, it's a galvanized nail. Okay, it's an industrial nail, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you had an industrial nail sticking in your head while you're trying to make a call? Yes, Your Honor. I believe it was shock. So I was able to call 911. Um, and I, I actually you... did bring a recording of that tape, Your Honor. Well, let's hear that. You've submitted it to the court. Let's hear the 911 call. 911, what's your emergency? So, so when this cuts off, what happens? Uh, I blacked out. Apparently, there was blood everywhere. Miss McGuire, is that your blood? Yes, Your Honor. Golly. So, Mr. Brooks, tell me how you knew something bad had gone on. Well, Your Honor, basically, I pulled up and saw Miss McGuire going into her home, and uh, I yelled out to her, and she continued to go into the entrance of her home. And so she looked like she was in a bit of a hurry. I, I imagine that maybe she had to use the bathroom or something like that. So okay. I pulled in, gathered my notes, grabbed my folder, and I went in to uh, meet her upstairs uh, to the uh, top of the entrance. And when I got up there and went through the plastic draping... That what did you when, see? That's when I saw that's when I saw Mrs. McGuire laying in a pool of blood. And, so she's and lying on the floor. She's laying there. She's got a nail in her head. She's I, passed out and her blood's all over the floor? Well, Your Honor, I don't know what's in her head. I just see her laying in a pool of blood. And it, it just shocked me because she just came in. This had four, to five freak you ago. out, too. So he yes, tried sir, to trip him up. I, I think Your Honor tried to trip him up. He tried to see if he saw or if he knew something. That was homeboy, Brody right there. He was on point. Cause he tried to trick him up. He was like, oh, he, see how smooth it was? It was so smooth. So you went in the house. You went in the house. When you came in, you saw Miss McGuire. You saw her with a nail in her head. It, bro, that was slick. I ain't going to lie. I mean, so I grabbed my phone and I called 911. Did you know what had happened at that point? I had no idea what had happened. I'm trying to figure out. She just walked in the house. But you called 911. I called 911, sir. Now, Mr. Brooks, you, you see, this is pretty bad stuff. This is a bad injury, right? Oh, yes, sir. I empathize with her. And, Bro, and it uh, was your nail gun. Uh, yes, sir. It was mine. Your nail. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Her injury. Uh, absolutely. Your but, Honor. but you absolutely. tell me today it's not your fault. Tell me why. Well, Your Honor, it was we had Drake. an agreement to meet at her garage. It was at Drake. At 1.30. Okay. And, at and it was Drake. And that way I can safely navigate her into the home. Okay. Now, she never mentioned a time. How are you so sure? I have text messages here, Your Honor. Okay. I have text messages that we Sheriff Matt, if you get the text agreement. So you all had an agreement to, to meet at, at 1.30. Yeah, and, and she actually showed up early. I'm looking at what you've submitted to this court. This text message that says, and I guess you're in the blue, it says, hey, things are coming along. When are you coming home? Question mark. Yes, sir. And then in the gray, Miss McGuire, it says, my flight lands tomorrow at noon. I take it that's you. You remember this, right? Yes, Your Honor. Then in the blue, take you, Mr. Brooks, Ms. McGuire, you say, perfect. Meet me she... in front of the garage at 1.30. 1 and then Miss McGuire, you say, great. See you there. You understood y'all were going to meet at 1.30. Yes, Your Honor, and right? that is where the text yes. message and so, ended. So now, if had she followed your instructions, take me through how this was going to happen. We're going to go over the notes. I'm sure that we made the changes that she wanted to make, and then we were going to go into the construction area, safely into, so I can navigate her through. I know the hazards, I know the dangers, I know the phase that we had at that time. If she would have only waited. I see that you have submitted this uh, text message. You know, in courts, often it is uh, one word against another word. Yes. It's always important to have documents. Yes, sir. You remember you were supposed to be there at 1.30, right? I can yes, dig it. You came a little early? I arrived maybe 
five minutes early. And had you met him there at 1.30, he could have guided you through the house. I didn't know that I needed to be guided through the house. That's the point you that I knew that the house was under construction. Let me get through what I'm talking about, Mr. Brooks. He told me to meet him there at 1.30. I get there. He's not at the garage. I expect maybe he has already gone this inside. This is not 1.30. Well, well, I but there was no car there, right? For him. His car wasn't there. I don't know what kind of car he drove. So you don't take any responsibility for your injuries? I do not take any responsibility for my injuries. Okay. No, you're on. I know. Fuck kind of shit is that? Like I'm, 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 I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to be fair and see both sides. But that's just immature to me. How are you not going to take no responsibility? Like, okay, you want somebody to do construction on your house. If you gonna go check it out and see, bro, that that is. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> look at his face. Hold up. Hold up. And they got the nail gun right there. Like, if you know all that that's going on, like, I get it. You're not thinking that it's going to be an accident that happened. But, unfortunately, the accident did happen. You shouldn't have went in there. You shouldn't have gone in there. I get it. It's your house. You pay the money there. You live there. All the I get all of that. But at that point in time, it was his responsibility to perform the task that you requested him to do. And he had that area draped and blocked off so that you wouldn't go back there. It wasn't, it wasn't time. It was not your time yet. That's it was that's 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 immature to me. She sound like she immature and to be honest, she lying because she thought about it like, oh am I responsible? No. Now I'm not I can't even be on your side. Like, Mr. This messing me up because I do feel bad for because it, it really was an accident, bro. Like it really was an accident. But I just feel like if she wasn't where she was at, it would not have been a problem. It's true, you gotta wear that stuff. Now, most people don't because, you know, if you hire a contractor or somebody that you know, like, yeah, boy, I need you to come fix this bathroom, he not gonna have no hard hat or nothing. Like, he not gonna have, she did it the right way and the professional way, and she got a little bit too ahead of herself and had an accident, a terrible accident, which I do feel bad about. I do feel bad about that because it's messed up. Like, it really was a genuine accident. But at the same point in time, you can't put that on him. You can't blame him for that. He came to do the job that you wanted him to do. Brooks testified that if the plaintiff had been wearing a hard hat, that hard hat would have protected her from this nail gun. Well, uh, while using safety equipment is always important on a construction site, a safety hat wouldn't necessarily have, have protected her directly from it. And we, sh we have an example here of a three inch nail uh, going right through. It goes through the hard oh, hat. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. My bad. <laughs> Brooks, you saw that video, right? Yes, My bad, uh, Joe. Seems like that hard hat wouldn't have stopped us from getting here today. True? <laughs> uh, yes, Your Honor. If I think you did a good thing as a business owner to provide those hard hats, Absolutely. but they're kind of for bricks and things falling, right? Absolutely. Folks, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. What? I don't know. Y'all let me know down below what you must think. Prove that my the head is wrong spinning. Caused the injury. Here today, Miss McGuire, you have shown that you could not have anticipated that a nail gun was loaded and ready to change your life waiting inside. This has affected your life, affected your life as a musician, and hurt you emotionally. It's a permanent injury, and that's why you're seeking a huge award from this court. Mr. Brooks, you tried to do what was responsible. You told her what time to be there. You told her to wait for you at the garage so you could walk through and escort her past the danger. But this happened, and this is why we are here today. Ms. McGuire, I find that you have proven that Mr. Brooks was wrong and that his wrong caused your what? injury. What? However, the evidence shows that he wasn't wrong by himself. You were wrong also. You are responsible for okay. your injuries partly. Okay. Okay. Here, you are asking this court to award you $300,000 for past medical bills, $200,000 for future medical bills, and $1.5 million for pain and suffering for a total... Y'all heart beating, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. My heart beating a little bit. I don't know what he gonna say. ...award of $2 million that you seek. Because I find you 49% responsible for your injuries, she gonna give I'm him only he going gonna give to him award 51% of what you are requesting from this court. That's so like I find in your favor and against Mr. Brooks in the amount of $1,020,000, and that is my final verdict. This matter is adjourned. Uh, 
I don't really agree. I can't sit up here and say 100% that I agree. I can't say that because it's like, bro, construction is dangerous. We are honest. I think, to be honest with you, we are undermined or underestimate how dangerous it is banging them nails and moving that stuff around in the house. Like at any given, especially with them tools, it can go left. It can go left. You can leave a saw plugged up because you're going to go run to the bathroom and run and go get a Gatorade real quick. I'm coming into the living room tripping. And then you get what I'm like? It's it's a dangerous job. So that's why I feel like it's not really all the way his fault. Because if he going to walk you through that, if he going to guide you through, he can get some. It's, how you know he wasn't going to clean or move some of the stuff out the way or whatever the case may be. But I also feel what she's saying. It's like, well, not even what she said. Act, the judge proved this one. The judge proved this one because if he would have never got that expert to come in to see if the nail gun would have went through the head, then she probably would have lost all of it. So she got to give thanks to the judge. It's sad and it's messed up because it's like, I, I really do, y'all. Like, I get where she coming from. I see where she coming from. And from a personal point of view, of course, if you get some work done, she on the roll with the band, she come back, she want to see how it looks. She trying to see how it's looking. She like, all right, I got my own studio. I want to check it out. But at the end of the day, if you paying somebody to do a job, especially a real contractor, like, this is what he does. This is, he got certifications and all of that. Like, he's a professional. This is what he does. You got to let that man do his job. That is a dangerous area. I think she underestimated how dangerous it was in which in her defense, like who doesn't, who, nobody's going to think, oh, well, if I go through there, it might be a nail. Like nobody's thinking like that. Everybody's excited to see well, how it looked, what it smelled like. Did he do this right? Did he do that? So I get where she coming from. But at the same point in time, it's like, that was not your job. That was his job to do all of that. And like I said, the judge, proved that even though he if he would have been there it still would have happened i don't know it's it's this is confusing i don't know but i don't agree that he now he got to pay this woman a million dollars it's sad because she do deserve something for all of her pain and suffering but at the end of the day a million dollars and you went against what i was asking you to do and then the judge gonna rule in your favor not all the way completely like i don't know that law shit boy <sighs> But I'm, I'm going to cap it off by saying this. Again, uh, judges, lawyers, attorneys, I appreciate y'all. I don't have nothing against y'all. I'm just giving my opinion. This is what I think. Judge, I respect you. I appreciate that you work diligently and you work honestly. You come back from your lunch breaks on time. You you, you know, you, 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 you try the best that you can do. I appreciate your efforts. I really want y'all to know that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep it 100. I don't agree with this one. I don't, but... GTG the family, as always, I love y'all. Out.